Hey guys, so today I want to have a deeper look inside this little amplifier, the Fozy Audio BT20A. I already did an unboxing video that you can find in my channel, but today I want to go deeper and see which components are inside this little box. To open the amplifier box you just need to remove four screws, the two in the front panel, the two top ones that use a 2.5 um, hexagonal uh, screws and two in the back panel that also use a hexagonal but 2.0 um, size. After removing the four screws the top of the box just comes, comes out uh, and you can see the inside of the amplifier. My first impressions are very good, everything looks very well organized to make the most of this little space. Under this heatsink on the middle of the PCB there are two TPA3116D2 uh, Class D audio amplifiers from Texas Instruments. Uh, each one rated at 100 watts, so it will follow the specifications of the amplifier of having 100 watts per channel. The next thing that stands out in this amplifier are these big four capacitors that are input capacitors that are used um, in most audio amplifiers to reduce the AC interference and also to improve the power supply capability of the amplifier. Uh, usually the larger the capacitor the more charge is available for the amplifier when it needs it. In this case it seems that the designer of this amplifier used uh, 1000 microfarad uh, 25 volt capacitors from Sam Young. We also have here near the output terminals that will be connected to the external speakers. These um, two LC filters that act as low band filters and they are even recommended on the manual of the amplifier ships from Texas Instruments to be added as close as possible to the output. So this was followed by the designer of the, this amplifier. Another interesting component of this board is the Bluetooth uh, Qualcomm chip, it's the QCC3003 and uh, if you look on the internet it's a Bluetooth 5.0 uh, chip that uses dual mode Bluetooth so it can switch between the low energy Bluetooth mode and the, the normal one. And Because this is an amplifier that use, can, can use two types of inputs, the Bluetooth and the analog RCA line-in, they had to use this uh, little white component that's uh, Omron uh, G6K2PY, that it's a low signal relay and acts as an audio input signal selector. Here near the front panel of the amplifier we have these two black chips also from Texas Instruments, the NE5532 that uh, are connected to the potentiometers of the um, tremble and bass and um, make the pre-amplifier stage to control the, this uh, sound characteristics of the amplifier. We can also see here attached to the front panel this dual color LED that turns blue when the input is the Bluetooth and turns red when the input is the uh, line in, the analog line in, and also the on off switch of the amplifier. And uh, here from the back panel you can see the connection between the antenna and the Bluetooth module. If you want to completely remove the PCB from the metal case, you'll need to remove the, the three buttons in the front of the, the amplifier and also the two screws in the back panel, the bottom ones. And after that, the board just slides uh, attached to the back panel. But there's not, not much to see on the bottom of the board because all the components are on the top. Ok, before closing the amplifier and connecting it to external speakers, I just want to measure the temperature 
uh, while it's not being used so I can compare it after it's used for a couple of hours to see if the temperature increases a lot or not. So right now the temperature is around 89 degrees Fahrenheit or 32 Celsius. Alright, so to test this amplifier I've connected it to a couple of external speakers from Yamaha uh, and I'll be using just uh, free music from YouTube. I'll place on the description below the link to this music. Uh, it's the best free music of 2019. So I'll leave it uh, playing for a couple of minutes in this video and after uh, I'll leave the amplifier running for a couple of hours and in the end I'll measure the temperature of the internal components again. Take you there, feet Ria Chuni by Spectrum. Been thinking about you all night I've been searching for this all my life Night Out by Liquid Finally by Locksbeats by Amin Maxwell. Bad Love by Noel. by Joni Grimes. Ghost Last Night by Lionel Cassio. Call Me by Liquid. I don't need you to say anything by La Gang. Dreamland by Jonas Schmidt. lovely all right so after leaving the amplifier running for a couple of hours let's measure the temperature again and uh, the, just the case we can see it got a bit warmer around 35 degrees celsius and 96 Fahrenheit. Let's open the box again to check the temperature inside also.
Okay, and inside we can see that the temperature increased a bit, but not by so much. The maximum uh, temperature reads I can get, it's around 55 degrees Celsius, or uh, uh, around um, 130 Fahrenheit. So I think the temperature management of this little amplifier is pretty good. I think it should last a lot of time, because it, it doesn't get too hot. Well, in the end, I think this is very good value for money. Uh, it's more than enough to fill a small room with good sound, and I can definitely hear the difference between this and some cheaper options I got from AliExpress. Uh, uh, this one costs a bit more, but you can really notice the difference. There are there is almost no distortion at any volumes, and you don't hear any any noise in the background. Uh, the cheaper options from AliExpress, sometimes you can hear noise and distortions and on this Fozzy Audio you cannot. So to sum it up, I think it's a really good uh, buy. And okay, I'll leave in the description below some links to the main components I, I found inside this amplifier. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments. And please, if you like this video, like it and subscribe and let me know what you think. Thanks! Finally by Lockspeeds.